Alright, Derek's coming up before we get started. You guys ready? Yes. I believe the whole Bible. What it says about God. What it says about me. What it says about you. What it says about you. And because of that, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I know that I belong. I know that I belong. I know that you belong. I know that you belong. And I know that we belong. I know that we belong. Amen. Amen. All right, there Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Salutations. How are you? Is it alright? Turn the lights on. Good night, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's alright. That way. So, uh, who was here last week? Everybody here last week for Pastor Jamie? So that was an awesome word. And uh, so I messaged Dan yesterday or last week because I didn't know if I was speaking last week or this week, and turns out it was this week, which was pretty cool, because uh, what Pastor Jamie spoke on was kind of similar to what I was going to speak on, just a little bit different. So he spoke on how Satan would attack your identity, your self-identity. And what I was going to speak on is very similar. And, you know, when you guys wake up every second, every minute of every day, you're under attack. And you don't even know. There's a battle for your soul, and you don't even know what's going on. And Pastor Jamie went over battle for your self-identity. I want to go over another tool Satan uses, which is your choices. Okay? And in Proverbs 2, 11 through 12, it states, Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guide you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men, from men whose words are perverse, which means... Pursue wisdom. Wisdom starts with sincere desire to apply to your life. If you're not genuinely interested in acquiring God's wisdom, God will not dish out wisdom to those who aren't willing to act upon it. That's right. So you've got to be willing to put in that work and that to get that wisdom. But is Satan's going to attack your choices. Mm-hmm. And in this day and age, there's so many ways to do it. Uh, social media. Mm-hmm. You know, how many people have friends that don't know God yet? Right? We all do. I do too. And how many see them on, you know, you have social media. Everybody here pretty much has social media, right? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming most of you guys do. Mm-hmm. You always see, you know, everybody posts like awesome stuff. You know, everything's awesome. And it's it's basic you never you never hear bad stuff. Rarely will you hear bad stuff from your friends or somebody you know on social media. Because they don't want you to know what's really going on. They want you to they want you to see what they want you to see. Basically, you're seeing a mask, and you're not seeing the whole picture. That's right. So, that's one way, you know, Satan can creep in. Social media. Come on. Very easy. Um, <clears throat> you guys are getting at the age where... You're going to run into alcohol. You guys are going to run into drugs. You will. You will. It's, it's, that's what this world is now. And the more you guys are ready for it now, the better choice 
you're going to make when that day comes. Because it's going to come. Now, I've learned the... So I went to parenting classes years ago, and they always taught about imprinting. Parents imprinting onto their children. Right? You can do that. I believe you guys can do that with your friends. The friends that don't know God. You can imprint onto them. That's right. And you can touch them. You can change their life by the way you guys live yours and choose to live yours Amen. through your choices. Now, I've talked a lot of like how your friends, your friends are going to affect some of your choices. That's just the way my friends, I'm 40 and I'm, I still have to deal with that. My friends, you know, my birthday wasn't too long ago. Hey, you're going to come out with us. We're going to go to the bar. Yeah. No, no, we're not. I, you were up. Yeah. You were up. They came to my house at, it was probably 8.30 at night. Yeah. You're coming to the bar. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, Brady just happened to be there. And uh, so it doesn't stop, you know. Yeah. Your friends may choose to know God one day, maybe not, but... You know, you learn as you get older, you know, because your friends are your friends. You're not just going to, you know what, you don't know God. Uh, I don't think, you know, Jesus wouldn't do that, right? Jesus didn't, it's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, I'm not saying, you know, abandon your friends that don't know Jesus, no. Encourage them, imprint on them. Maybe one day you will know Jesus. Um, so, how can my friends be used as tool in this war? 1 John 3, 8. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Proverbs 12, 26. The righteous choose their friends carefully because the way of the wicked leads them astray. So, a lot about your choices. So, the devil knows the Bible. He knows it too. And he twists it. So, how many of you have lost somebody like to death? Somebody died really close to you. I've been there too. I've lost somebody, and you hit that point like I hadn't known God yet, and I lost both my grandparents when I was in the service. I was overseas, and I didn't I didn't get a chance to come back and attend the funeral, say goodbye, anything. So. You know, you, you, when you're at that point and you don't know Jesus, you like to push blame on him. Like, you know, I remember being like, why did you take them out of all people? You know, they were like my parents. And, you know, you, the devil will, will use stuff. He will use loved ones, he will use anything he can to make you question yourself, to make you question God, your choices, and you just, you have to be ready for that. Um, if the devil wrote his own Bible, he would call it, you only live once. Because he wants you making those Rash decisions that, you know, uh, you know what, we only live once, so I'm going to go skydiving without a parachute. Let's do it. He wants you to do, he wants you to make those choices that are just reckless, insane. He wants you going over the deep end. Right. Come on. Deuteronomy 30, 19. This day... 
I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. It's just, I wanted you guys to know how important it is from, you know, now till the day you die, your choices are going to matter. That's right. yeah. And what you do with your life is going to matter. How you live your life is going to matter. Yeah. How you imprint on other people is going to matter. So, basically what I want you to get out of this is, guys, live the best you can, do the best you can, with God, for God, and try to encourage as many people you can to join God, to live for God, to love God. That's all we can do. That's what our job is to do as Christians. And that's pretty much all I got. And I just thank you guys for your time and listening. Thank you guys.